Hallelujah, lift those hands up high. We worship the King of Glory tonight.
You have to receive what you have prayed for. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. But there are many times that we begin to pray and we begin to seek the face of God because we have not seen things begin to happen. We begin to do what? Thanks. Amen, Amen somebody. Just the name of Jesus. Reminding his people that men ought to pray and not faint. We are in a time and a season within this next two, three months. We gotta pray for our nation. We gotta pray for our churches. We gotta pray for the backsliders. We gotta pray for the sinners. We gotta pray for the ungodly. And I even somebody, I heard of the news in November month alone. Nova 90 something people died of COVID 19. Today you're seeing over 500 new cases. Today alone, amen, somebody. They are the that the vaccinated is spreading to the unvaccinated. Come on, somebody. Because when you are vaccinated, you might know that you are having it. And they say that over 40-something percent of our nation is vaccinated. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody right now? We have uh, people of God still afraid to come to church. Come on, somebody. I know for a fact there are many of God's people and are still afraid, afraid to come to church. Amen, somebody. But they're going to take the chance to go to their grocery, to go to their pharmacy, to go to their job. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. And they're afraid to come to church because that's exactly what they are doing. They are coming to church. What are they doing? Coming to church. Come on, somebody. I begin to minister on a Monday night that a being here does not mean that you are in the presence of God. Tell the neighbor that you being here tonight does not mean you are in the presence of God. The Bible said in the presence of God there is fullness of joy and that is the right hand. There are pleasures forevermore in the presence of God. Mountains power, seas power, giants are slain, the dead are raised, the sick is healed, the blind What we are doing here tonight is assembling. It is a command of God. He said, and forsake not the assembling of ourselves. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. See, he did not say when we assemble, we are in the presence of God. He commands the saints of God, the children of God, to do what? To gather together. Amen, somebody. Amen. He said, Oh, Lord, then as we gather together, let's do this in what? Remembrance of me until I come. I want somebody. But he went on the ones that whosoever eat it or drink it on worthily. Come on, somebody. So he that is unworthy is not in the presence of God. They are amongst the saints, but not in the presence of God. Amen, somebody. Amen. So let's look at the scriptures now. Jesus is in the midst of two and trees. He's in the midst of bless. He is what? To bless. Speaking of the future. Speaking of what he wants to do. See, he said, in the midst of two and trees, those that are gathered in his name, he's in the midst to bless. Blessing can only come when he is manifested. So God is omnipresent. If I go to the heavens, he is there. If I'm on the earth, he is there. If I'm under the earth, he is there. If I'm in my home, he is there. Wherever I am, God is omnipresent. What I'm speaking about, know that the presence of God, it means I can feel it, I can sense it. I am operating in it. I am walking in it. It is manifesting in me. So we got to understand now, you and I carry the manifested presence of God. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. You and I, say you and I, we carry the manifested presence of God. So God being present doesn't mean he is manifesting. But when the Bible said, no, in the presence of God, it means I'm aware that I'm in it, I'm abiding in it, I am walking in it.
speaking it. I am manifesting it. I am speaking it. I am saying it. Amen, somebody. Amen. God is present. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Again, when God is present. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Something has to happen. to deliver. Amen, somebody. The scripture shows us and tells us about Jesus. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And the Bible said that the power of God was what? Present the heat. The Bible said there were many sick. There were thousands sick. The Bible said they pop out the house of Peter. Mother in law, amen. They surround the house. Amen, somebody. And the Bible said that Jesus was in there. Amen, somebody. And he said that the power of God was present. Yet no one was healed. No no one was made whole, but the Bible said there were some men that was moved with faith in and somebody that brought their brother that was born lame on a couch and they wanted to get in where Jesus is. And the Bible said they, they rooted out the tiles. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody up the roof. Stop praying. 
When you stop praying, you start seeking the face of God. When you stop praying, you stop repenting. Because you cannot repent without prayer. You cannot seek counsel without prayer. You cannot go into worship without prayer. You cannot go into praise without prayer. You cannot get in or carry the presence of God without prayer. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. I speak to somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Somebody say the power of prayer. Praying in the morning. Praying in the noon time. Praying in the night time. Praying in the wee hours of the morning. I'm not talking about praying when the devil hold it down. Praying when you have a, a nightmare. Praying when you're feeling something wrong. I'm talking about praying. You have a desire, a heart of God. To seek the face of God. The one to hear from God. The one to be led by God. The one to be used of God. When you begin to Amen. 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 James said a double-minded man is unstable Amen. in all of his ways. Amen. And he said, let not that man think that he shall receive anything of come on somebody. Amen. Anything of the Lord. Come on somebody. Amen. The Bible says that which is not of Faith is sin. It's not working or operating or speaking in faith that is sin. That which is not of faith is sin. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Take chapter five. Is any afflicted what to do? Cry. Get weary. Get better. Begin to die. Power of prayer. Come on, somebody. Amen. Prayer is powerful. 
Come on, somebody. When you begin to live like Christ. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. He said, I know Paul. I know Peter. I know the Son of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. But I do not know you. You do not belong to the name you are calling upon. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. And so many of us, we call on a name that we do not know. Jesus said to worship and you do not know what you worship. Jesus said with their lips, they worship me. But their heart, you see, the pray, the worship, the praise, to do anything from God and the serious heart, you've got to do it with your heart. Amen. I want somebody. Amen. You've got to do it with what? With your heart. I want somebody. Amen. Your heart represents your desire. It represents what you are passionate about. Let me say your heart represents your desire. It represents what you are passionate about. Amen. What you are amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let me look at Daniel. Come on, somebody. And the Bible said that Daniel said to me, Amen, somebody. The Bible said that Daniel, when he began to fast and pray, the Bible said that, that a decree was given unto him that no one in the kingdom, no one shall worship any other gods, but the gods of Nebuchadnezzar, the gods, Amen, somebody. The idols, Amen, somebody. And the Bible said that Daniel, and he said, whosoever shall break that decree shall be put to death. Amen. Oh, somebody. Amen. The decree of the king is if you are caught praying, you're going to be put to death. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. What do we do when doctors give us a bad report? What do we do when our body begins to get sick? What do we do when situations begin to happen in our life? When it begins to get overbearing, when it begins to reoccur, and it begins to happen in our lives. Amen, somebody. Amen. Satan is decreeing things in your life. The Bible said to decree a thing that it shall come to pass. The same way God can decree and you can decree, Satan also decrees in your life. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But I never understood the scripture that if you will draw nigh to me, I will draw nigh unto you. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said that Daniel woke up in the morning and he began to pray. Amen. And the noon time he began to pray. In the evening, he began to pray. Amen. He understood the power of prayer. Amen. You see, Daniel was taught as a Hebrew, you got to pray three times a day. Amen. The prayer is the way of life. Amen. As much as you eat, and as much as you pray. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. I don't need that about it. He opened his windows and his doors. Why? Well, he must pray. And the scripture said at the moment, Daniel began to pray. God heard him. Many a times. Amen somebody. Because we have not seen something happen immediately. We get discouraged. Fed up. Weary. Tired. Lord. I think you don't trust God enough. Yes, somebody. Amen. How much do you trust God with your life? Preacher. How much do you trust God with your problems? Amen. 
How much do you trust God with your business and your finances? How much do you trust God? Come on, somebody. Ain't that somebody? They can set some for their trust in chariots. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Some for their trust in, amen, horses. Some for their trust in money. Why, why is God, why is it, but I put my trust what? In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. When David was speaking about the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen, somebody. The name of the Lord comes with a portrait of understanding the word. Of doing what? Understanding the word. Living the word. Amen. Do that thing because you are here tonight, you are safe. Do that thing because some of you are afraid. Amen. To come to churches and to go up because of the death that trade. You are saved. Come on, somebody. Come on, am I speaking to somebody? Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. No matter how good your vehicle works, you can still shut down and get an accident. No matter how healthy you think you are, you can be diagnosed with cancer tomorrow. Because it's where your trust is. Come on, someone. And the Lord said, Daniel, the day you begin to pray. And the angel said, no, Daniel didn't receive any word for 21 days from God. Daniel didn't hear from God. I tell you, people come, they come into church, they come over three, four times. Yes, they hear their word from God and they get it and they come back. Teacher. Who, what would God know? He knows yeah. your heart. Ah. Yeah. He knows your ah. heart. That's why, amen, the Bible, the scripture said that the spirit of God tried the hearts of men. That's why like some receive and some does not. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. It is the Spirit of God that does what? Tries the hearts of men. Amen. He searches your heart. He searches your thought. He knows what you're going to do. Amen. Before you do it, He already knows. He said before you are. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Every single day that I was praying, he knew, amen, that God's going to come and take him at any time. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. And the 21 day, the Bible said, oh, the angel was coming with a message. Come on, somebody. The moment that I begin to pray, the angel was coming. Amen, somebody. But you got to realize from the rest of man against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual hosts of wickedness and high places. Sometimes you do not know how far the devil has carried you. Amen. Preacher. You will know how far he holds you already and how far he caught you. In his trap in his name. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The apostle Paul said, Take heed by the thing you are standing you already. Fall. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. And every single day without Daniel knowing the Lord when he dispatch an angel, he coming, he coming, but he coming to principalities. An angel has to come through battle. Amen. That messenger, that miracle, that divine deliverance, Amen. it is coming, but it's got to come to spiritual battle. Amen. What, what, is, what God said to you, that breakthrough, blessing, that miracle, that house, that land, that car, it's coming. But it, it, it is coming to every battle. Amen. And you do know how deep Satan has already carried you. Return, amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. 
heaven. Come on, somebody. But as I spoke the currency of heaven, it's faithfulness, dedication, humility, sacrifice. These are things that money cannot buy. Amen, somebody. It cannot buy no miracle. It got to be paid. Amen. Through your affection. Through your heart. Where your heart is. Yes, and your churches be laid up. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I'm going to leave you Saturday. Amen, somebody. I'm praying, but I wasn't hearing any other ushers pray. I said, like, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I said, like, two years of COVID 19. It ain't do you good. Amen, somebody. It do some good. Sometimes they get some punch. Amen, somebody. And I put on some weight. Sometimes I lose some weight. Come on, somebody. But what, what do this spirit your life? Come on, daddy. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Some who sing this other thing on me. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Nothing to occupy your time with the temper come, the temptress come. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah! Amen. With prayer now there is the power of agreement. Amen. If two or more shall touch an agreement. I see some of us people going up to mumble in the house of God. We start to mumble and fumble. Come on somebody. Amen. If God cast out there was mumbling. Come on somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. The Bible said, never a man spoke like this. By his word, he commanded the demon spirits out. Come on, somebody. Amen. I speak to somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By his word, a silence by his word the silence amen the silence any silent place you go to is where the dead is only those that are dead cannot speak come on somebody come on somebody come on amen somebody amen somebody amen, amen. amen. Unless you're born with some deformity. Amen. And that is as worse. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Do we have any deformed believers here tonight? Come on, somebody. The world teaches you how to, to sing a good martial art kind of song. You know, the same or the jump or the dance or the wine or the wicked the flag. Come on, somebody. Amen. They think they have to come here, man. They think the wine is from here, man. They say, let me introduce that from you. Preacher. But the wave, the shout, mm -hmm. the praise. Amen. He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the land, the Bible said, for the spirit of heaviness. Put on the garment of sleepiness. Let <laughs> him praise in your ears, sleeping. Preacher. There are people. Come on, listen to me. Go down the sun. The hardest of the demons to fight is not the one that possesses people. <laughs> I'm talking to them. You can identify them and cast them out fast. Amen. The demon, the amen somebody. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. The, the hardest of the demon spirit to get out of your life is the ancestral spirit. Amen. What 
your God knowing, believing, thinking, and feeling. Amen. These sins, these spirits are connected to your thought. They are connected to your emotion. They are connected to your choices. They are connected to your behavior. They are connected to your attitude. They are connected to your character. And you're so bound, you can't see. Hey, amen, somebody. What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with you. You can't see your ways. You can't you can. see yourself. You can't see him. You can see everybody else. But you cannot see that you are not in you. And you are not changing. And you are not going forward. That your ways, amen, are destroying you. Preach on, amen. 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 Awesome. Amen. That's how you put it on one. I wonder why I can't keep a good friend. For every friend I get, I think so. Preach on. I wonder who chooses this friend. And I wonder, amen, what type of discussion you have with your friends. Preach on, amen. Think about it. Think about it. On somebody. On somebody. Amen, somebody. The choice is found through thoughts and true desire. Amen. Through your heart. Every choice you make in your life is coming from within you. Amen. It's coming from your character, your personality. These hidden spirits that influence you day by day are the most diabolical ones in your life. Amen. And it takes a person and is praying and going deep in prayer for God to reveal what is hindering your miracle, your breakthrough. There are things for a prophet to do, a pastor to do, there are things for an evangelist to do, a teacher to do, and there are things that you have to do. And if you do not do it, no matter where you go, no matter what word you get, no matter what anointing you are under, Amen. you will always be defeated by the enemy. Amen. Because the enemy has hidden himself within your behavior, within your personality, within your character, within your mindset. The Bible says that we sin in our thoughts, in our words, in our deeds. And as a man thinks, so is he. If I think I can let go of this sin, it's too hard for me. I will never let go. Come on, somebody. When we begin to pray. Amen. Let me say there are levels to pray. There are depths to pray. There are heights to pray. People that know to pray understand the power of prayer. Understand the levels of prayer. You understand how deep you can go in the spirit. You understand when you pray, there are places you begin to go in the spirit. Amen, somebody. And if you didn't go near, there are things that you wouldn't understand, you would have never seen, you would have never experienced. Things that would have, amen, would have never changed in your life. Amen. God would have never led you. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So make it the power of prayer. Power of prayer. There are people who can't read the Bible. You see, the real thing as they pick up a Bible or policy. As they pick up a Bible or policy, as they pick it up to read. Come on, somebody. Somebody get your headache one time. The eyes are good there. They can sit down and watch us over for a whole day. Any drama, any type of back in our life, that movie. As they pick up a Bible. Heaven cup. Sabbath seat glory. I'm a beautiful TV. Come here, they explain it. These spirits are in your lifestyle. 
inner. Come on, somebody. I'm, I'm not going to It's so important to pick up that word of faith because we can change your emotion. The word of God can change your emotion. You can be in a negative state that is coming in our way. When you pick up that word of faith and direct them to the cup and God begin to speak to you to that word and in the summer and you begin to pray and God will not talk to you to his word and you begin to pray. Amen, somebody. Come on, it's time to prepare you for what coming tomorrow. That daughter coming tomorrow. That son, that, that, that attacker, that spiritual wickedness. Come on, somebody. Come on, it's time to prepare you. God, it's to warn you. If you didn't pick up that Bible, you would not have been warned. Somebody. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody? Come on. Come on. The power of prayer. Say the power of prayer. Prayer sets the atmosphere for miracles. What it does? Sets the atmosphere. Sets. Then people begin to pray. Then you begin to pray. Amen, hey, somebody. Come on, somebody. It means I'm, I'm calling down the presence of God. Amen, hey, somebody. Amen, hey, somebody. It means I am in the presence of God. Come on, somebody. It means that God is the person to perform. Come on, somebody. God is no person to perform. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 I can come on every single day and say, believe, and, because, and amen. And then one or two receive a miracle and the majority go home. Amen, somebody. And in your life, in your home, you are defeated every single day. In your home, your family, your job, you are defeated. Even you are weary, you are tired, you are fed up, you are stressed out. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. You do not know how to shake up yourself, how to wake up yourself. Amen, somebody. How to strengthen the inner man. Come on, somebody. Listen to me. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. How to strengthen your meditation, your mindset, how to keep your eyes upon Jesus. Come on, somebody. Who is the author and the finisher of our faith? And I know if God has spoken, He will bring it to pass. Amen. We all have times in our life, and Satan likes to make them wrong. He likes to tell you everything that's wrong. Amen. He likes to show you everything that's wrong. Come on, somebody. Believe me, as when you begin to look at everything that's wrong in your life, in your home, in your family, sometimes you think you can change or do nothing about. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. The more you focus on others, the more depressed people they get. Amen. The more fed up people they get. Amen. The more you're gonna feed the pack your bags and run. Amen. Only to realize the people that you're running by have more problems than you. That's how Satan set you up. Amen. That's how he set you up. Come on, someone. And then if you put the people you run into are more problems than you. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But when you begin to keep your eyes upon Jesus, what is what he is saying about my life? What Satan is doing doesn't matter. See what God is saying about the matters. The more I obsess of all that is wrong, all that is this and all that and all. Listen to me. I need to, I need to focus on all that Jesus is saying. What he has promised me. What he wants to do in my life. What he has called me to do. Come on. And just to stay focused on my purpose, on my mission, on my call. And I need to stay in prayer. I need to rebuke the devil in the Bible. Resist the devil and he shall flee. Let me speak about the devil. Come on. I ain't been thinking about the devil with this long staff and saying, no. and he's just standing out my mind and not to kill me. Come on. Listen to me. The devil uses people weaknesses and fear. The devil can take a good person and use them in your life. He can take anybody and use them in your life. Come on, somebody. Hey, man, he can take an absent minded person. He can take an empty person. Anything he can do and use them to disturb you. Use them to discourage you. Use them. He can use anybody. Good or evil. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But the Bible said, I'm going to be able to resist the devil. And when I mean resist the devil, resist temptation. Resist my emotion. And it's contrary to what 
God just said. Amen. Come and hear the word of God tonight. Hear that word. I said, that was a message. Fire! Fire in message. As I reached home. My son does not know. My wife, my wife, my child. All that fire in message was enough. Go on and get cold. Go, 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 go. Turn the ice. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Forget all of that. And then begin to act upon your basic nature. Amen. Your emotion. Amen. Not the word of God. And Jesus said, if you want to live, man shall not live. I ain't talking about live people. Think living is just breathing. Come on, somebody. Breathing is not living. Living is when you start to walk in the presence of God. You only begin to live when you walk in the presence of God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Say, so only begin to live. And I start to walk in the presence of God. Amen. Amen, someone. Amen. Come on, someone. Amen. God can design man. Come on, somebody. Amen. To live in darkness, to live in sin, to live in depression and anxiety and fear and doubt and unbelief and tears and sorrow. Amen, somebody. And worrying and frustration. God designed man to have dominion and power and authority over all the works of the devil, to become conquerors, overcomers, victors. They can only happen to Christ Jesus who gives me strength. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And I begin to study that word and I begin to pray. I begin to set Job said, have you command your morning? I am preparing my mind, my spirit for what is coming. I'm preparing my faith as a shield to do what? Quench the fiery tax of the wicked. I'm preparing myself for victory. Many of us have been catch off guard by the enemy. He keeps knocking us down. He keeps afflicting us. He keeps bringing the evil report and he keeps catching us with it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Amen. 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 Faith moves the mountain. Amen, somebody. Amen. And my most formidable weapon is prayer. And if I'm able to pray in faith, come on somebody, I'm able to pray in faith, I'm able to wait and trust God until He does what He has promised me. Amen. And while I'm waiting, I'm faithful. While I'm waiting, I'm dedicated. While I'm waiting, I'm hungry. While I'm waiting, I'm thirsty. While I'm waiting, I'm seeking God and crying out to Him. I'm not giving up. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going until God does something. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And you think about it, while God is dispatching his message, job, he's sending his angels. The Bible will make his ministers a flame of fire. But his angels, say that somebody, he will make minister to the spirit. They shall do a minister to the heirs of salvation. So the angels have walked through today. They will minister to the heirs of salvation. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. While I'm here now, amen, somebody. The angel, amen, was finally released. Amen, somebody. Listen to me. The Bible said that, the, that Satan will hold, he, he hold the angel. Amen, somebody. Stop it from coming for 21 days. If he can stop an angel, amen, what will he not do to stop you? To destroy you. Come on, somebody. To destroy your soul. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, no God can send who? Michael. Michael, the archangel. The angel of battle. Come on, somebody. Amen. To come and release the, the amen. The angel must bring the message. Amen. The angel said, that in the day you begin to pray, God already heard you. Say, God already heard you. Amen. And there is a battle for your blessing, for your breakthrough, for your miracle. Amen. And just because God heard you, that because God spoke to you and even confirmed what He will do to prophecy, word of wisdom and knowledge. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Doesn't mean that the devil is going to stop. Amen. It is then no Satan decides to make a next move. Picture. And he'll grab that. And he must pray. I hate he pray. Come on. Amen. Oh, Lord, but the king love. Daniel. He didn't want to do it, but he was special. So he let me show you, I'm showing him amongst lions. I'm showing him before the court. I'm showing him before the doctor. I'm showing him before uh, amen. all that of sickness and what they want to get. Amen. You have this, you have that, you have that. All that my dream. All kind of thing wants to go wrong. What kind of demon wants to attack you? All day I in hospital, morning, noon, night. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. The Bible said that. Hallelujah, that what? He was shown before lions. Amen. They stay whole night to be eaten up. Amen. You think a devil going to stop because God gave you a word? Because God gave you an instruction? Because you went on a three days fast? Because you have a dedication for three months, five months? You think he stopped tempting you? You think because he called it, he using you? Yeah, amen. Is they going to trust God the more? Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He's trying before the lambs that is missing the dinner. It is the survival in the morning. You will come up free. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. What God did, He sent angels again. <coughs> Shut the mouth and the lions. Come on, somebody. Amen. And what the Bible said, Daniel did. He went up against a wall. Come on, and started to hide and cry. And he said, he slept in perfect peace. He didn't worry about the lions. The Bible said, the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he might be. Let him be. Let him call for prayer. Hallelujah. I asked him, do you believe God? Because you know, yes, I believe. But the doctor said, you know, this might be so. The heel cook it so. Come on and listen to me. 20 minutes to give me a doctor report. Preach on, amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Say hallelujah. Amen. After they get prayed for, they're feeling good, they still tell me what the doctor say. Preach on. They come back in next week and still tell you what the doctor say. Amen. They whisper nothing about what Jesus said. Preach on, amen, amen. amen. The scripture says that I must believe in my heart and I must confess with my mouth. Then I shall be saved. Oh, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. What do you believe in your heart tonight? Come on, somebody. We can have a form of godliness. Amen, somebody. Amen. And what we, what we truly believe in our heart is what, is what we are feeling. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Turn to your neighbor and say, feeling. Feeling. Express. Express. What I believe. What I believe, Mr. Carl, not talking to me. I am here, I am serious. I like to eat the battle. I'm going to have an expression when I eat the battle. I might try to hide it. But, I, but I'm going to have an expression. Preach on, amen. Yep. Amen. So what I believe, yep. I have to express it. Amen. 
In the Bible says, in the last day, the Spirit of God shall speak out expressively. And if the Spirit of faith is not speaking to me, I'm just, I'm just religious. Amen. I'm just trying something. I'm not believing something. I'm trying. I'm just seeking the Lord. But he that cometh to God must believe. 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 Must what? Believe. believe. Let's get him some prayer tonight. Amen. 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 The power of prayer. Let us go from our mouth. We we'll begin to pray for about five, seven minutes. Powerful prayer. I want us to begin to speak on the principalities and powers, the rulers of darkness, the situations that are disturbing you, your affliction, your distress, begin to speak to it. Begin to speak, begin to speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to open your mouth and begin to pray. Let the devil know.
Dios Be free Be free Mira Levar En your business Your job Apaga la lana La tomata Your marriage Your children Your finances Be shame Be shame Be free Be free Y como el cancer alta Age Diabetes Lupus
spirit. You suicidal spirit. Out. And it poisoned the offense. Give it to you. At the table of your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free. Holy Ghost. You're here for the first time and you pray. Come quickly. Come quickly. If you're here for the first time, you came for prayer. Come quickly. By the way, you have to go to the church. Come quickly. 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 You're going to fast one day, bring up a bottle of water, God will be telling if you bring it back Wednesday. And God will begin to move on the devil as many people. God on the turn of the The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose them and set them free. You can run back and set them back and set them back. They're free. You can run back. You can run back. You can run back. Hold it. 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 You're going to remind him of the instructions. He can't make you sit on the side. That's why I'm taking my pocket. The hands of the Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you see your suffering. You see what you're going through. You see the enemy is fighting them down, Father. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit, said the Lord of hosts. I pray to be yoked. I pray to be chained. I pray to be fettered. I destroy the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me a bottle, give me three bottles of your water. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. The mighty name of Jesus. The anointing of God is set. He command deliverance. He command healing. He command change. He gives might to the demon. We are big one every day. Spiritual water. And I'm going to give you a bottle of anointing. I'm going to give you a bottle of anointing. And God will be able to move to bring change. And we'll be able to do this on Saturday. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you have the Lord. If you have the Lord, I show you many things. You try to put your hand to do. And every time you put your hand to do it, it keeps breaking. It keeps falling apart. No matter how good it seems, it keeps falling apart. And the Lord said, now it's easy for you to trust in Him. Trust in him that things gonna turn around. He can reboil a rice and a mind in the robot cosa. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose, loose and set them free. Break the yoke, break the chains, break the fetters, destroy the powers of darkness. Yes, mighty name. Get a bottle of water. 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 Get a bottle of water.